What's up everybody, Teague was here. Coming at you guys with an update on the juvenile alligator snapping turtles that I unboxed about a week ago. Uh, you guys saw in my video from yesterday, a little sneak peek of these guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to find them right now. Could be a little difficult, seeing as they blend in very well into this habitat. So let's let's hope it's it's not too hard this time around. Uh, got a heater over here. Here's one. I'm gonna put them on the side over there while I while I find the other guy. Uh. As you can see, he's on a bolt. With a habitat like this, they blend in very well because it mimics their natural environment. So it could be hard to find them at times, actually all the time. Unless it's night. I think... Uh, I have no idea where he is. Ah, got him just by scooping in. Alrighty, that's the aggressive guy. Alright, let's put this back together, make it look nice. Okay. <laughs> so, here's the very aggressive one. As you can see, nice, healthy snapper. They're both aggressive. This guy just was always aggressive doing great look at that about four inches in length the other one's over there I'm gonna put this guy down and put their bubbler back in <clears throat> so here's this guy safest way to hold these little guys is just by the back of their shell I got them since so many of you guys huh, this guy's trying to get out. Since so many of you guys ask me where I got them from, I got them from the same individual who bred or sold me. This is the other guy. He wasn't this aggressive when I first got him, but as soon as he settled in, he got to be pretty aggressive. Uh, I got them from the same individual I got my smaller large alligator snapping turtle from. As you can see, they're both doing phenomenal. Nice shots over there. Look at that pink tongue. And he got out. Okay. Let's put them like this. In the sunlight. Hold one so they don't snap at each other. So yeah, as you can see, nice full bellies on these guys. This guy's coming right at me. You can't do anything, buddy. You can't do anything. <clears throat> this is the speedster. I always knew because he was a little bit more lean than the other guy. He's always been mean too. Lean and mean. The lean mean fighting machine. So yeah, these guys are gonna grow into some very decent giants. They got very big heads for their size. Very healthy. So yeah, um, as you can see, this is just filled with pine cones. Pine cones give uh, the water the tannins. You can take them out after a while. A lot of branches, some driftwood, some leaves. And it's a jungle in there. So yeah, let's go ahead and release these guys back in. Last night I got some footage of them hunting late at night and they disappear right back into the murk. This is just duckweed, they like to eat it. Alligator snappers are for the most part carnivores but they do eat vegetation. And duckweed is something they love even though it's invasive. Sometimes fish stores will give it to you for free. So you should always check your local fish store and see if they have any duckweed available. Uh, this is the calmer guy, as you can see. He's, he's aggressive, but still, still calm. <clears throat> so these are the two guys. Last night I got some footage 
of them hunting. They were both kind of out, so I'm gonna plug that in after this clip ends. And on that note, take a buzz out. Write, comment, subscribe. As you can see, I have some guppies in here. Some minnows too, and yeah. And a molly right there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Right into the murk.